just take this. So this is milkweed and it is the host plant for um, monarchs. And so they go an egg for 10 days, a caterpillar for 10 days, and then a chrysalis for 10 days. <laughs> so he's hungry. Oh, sweet. Come on, guy. Get over here. I'll see if I can find an egg on this plant sometimes. Let's see. Oh, that's an egg. See the that little right tiny little thing? Yep, that's a, that's a monarch egg. So 10 days this. 10 days this. <gasps> what? Uh -oh. Oops. It's a little top heavy. Oh, they fell over. And then 10 days that. And then 10 days when they squeeze up out of there, there'll be a butterfly? Mm-hmm. <laughs> we should have some that we should see in the garden. How sweet. So we have about five different varieties of butterflies that come through here daily. So monarchs, gulf fitleries, which look like monarchs. Um, the zebra longwing, which is the Florida state butterfly. It's yellow and black stripes. So beautiful. Wow. I'm in the sky right there. There you go. I think I need to cut this some more because it's going to be too tall. There we go. <laughs> I'm going to make sure I don't have any babies on here. There. Wait till I share this with my friend Artemis. No babies on there. Okay. Alright. Anybody hanging down here that needs to eat? Come over back here. So this is. I can probably pull this off. Ooh, look at that. They make their own little webby things to hang. Mm hmm. Look at the little gold around there. Isn't that pretty? Sweetness. So I can hang him up with a, a stick pin. I'm just going to lay him here for now. I don't know if... <laughs> hang him up shortly. Wow. Yeah, so I've been doing this since 2008. And so then when I plant my flowers, I look for flowers that are pollinators that will attract the butterflies and the bees. And I don't use pesticides at all. So This is my new friend. Oh, hi. We're here at her house, and Cameron's here with her son. They've been to the pool today, and her son's name is Riley, and they've been hanging out. They're becoming best buds. They've known each other since little bitty and go to the same school. And so I was trying to go over and get some of the um, Apui plant, and I didn't know she was a gardener like this. And I said, do you want to go? Do you want some? She's like, sure. So she's like, oh. Don't look at my garden, it's a mess, okay. but it is not. Look at all these beautiful things over here. Just so a, <gasps> tomatoes over there. Basil, oregano. Yes. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Love you all. I've got all those in my yard, too. And these, this is milkweed, and they have, oh, look at the little baby. I need to find him a home. See? <gasps> yeah. So they just ate it down to sticks. And the reason I keep them in pots is so that I can easily place them into the enclosure. Otherwise, you have to clip the milkweed and it um, it wilts very easily. Kind of like hydrangeas. Have you ever clipped hydrangeas and you go to I put them in water some and hydrangea. they're just not super happy? And this is milkweed. So sometimes I'll pull it up from the ground and there's when it's a, a baby, baby. then I'll pot one it. Was that another one over there? Look. Oh, yeah. Two right, right there. Right there. Yep, sure is. And then I've got some succulents out here that I'm going to create a little succulent garden for a friend. So just kind of propagating them. So. I'm so happy being here in Tallahassee. I love Tallahassee. Every time I come, I find something new and different to do. And I did not know that this lady was doing all this stuff until today. And she's about to give me one yeah, of these. So that's a five gallon cloth bucket. But I also this is what I saw when I was looking at the YouTube videos was exactly something like this. Oh, yeah, I have yep. these too. So whatever you think. I don't have any soil though. Do you have any soil? There's a frog in there. Where is he? Oh, 
Oh, there he is. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he, he. Oh, he jumped out. <laughs> yes, I, I will take whatever you give me because I'm Wait, giving one to my daughter, one to my friend, and one for myself. So three okay. different things. I probably am not going to give them this. I'll take this cloth thing. Well, let me get you another <laughs> take one. Take it back I've got home. One back there. But then as we walk over here, um, so this was all milkweed, and they've eaten it down to the stick. So I kind of let nature do its thing over here. And it'll start back up. And they ate it down to the sticks. And you walk over, you see your plants gone. Look for some caterpillars. So yeah. yesterday, <laughs> yesterday I had 17 of these babies. What? <laughs> and now they're all gone because they've probably crawled up somewhere to do a chrysalis. I have no idea where. Hmm. So we'll just let nature do its thing. We'll find them. We'll go in this way. All right, I'm gonna let y'all go because it's very hot, and uh, I'm gonna get my buckets and things for. <gasps> I thought that was a real mushroom, but it's not. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Look so at this, this beautifulness going this is on. salvia, and hummingbirds love this. Mm -hmm. And then this is more milkweed, and you can see the holes, and it's because mm -hmm. there's probably some caterpillar babies in here somewhere. And I don't know what this is. This is some kind of bug. It's, it's a funny looking bug. Yeah. Hee hee hee. Isn't it interesting? But if you see all these little holes, it usually means you've got some caterpillar. Oh, there it is. See the baby? Yes. So look for the holes, and then here's an egg mm -hmm. right there. So this is salvia. This is a different color salvia. Um, Pinta's back there, um, but I need to get in, and the, it's just kind of gotten taken over. Um, this is an ironweed. It was really pretty when it was blooming. And cut that back. But I like to plant perennials, too, because they'll come back year after year. Mm -hmm. So Wow. This is so lovely. That's my little porch flowers to shame. <laughs> and then, um, All right, bye. the butterflies love the verbenia and the lantana. This is lantana. And lantana is really easy to grow. It's very hardy, drought resistant. Oh, here's a gulf fitlery right here. The, the butterfly? Mm -hmm. So it looks it's like another a monarch, one too. but it's not. You see another one? With a white? A little moths. That's mm -hmm. a moth, okay. Yep. Oh, and then there's a monarch over here laying eggs. So this monarch is laying eggs on um, milkweed. <laughs> Look at there. Yeah. Aren't you, cow? Happy oh, there cow. It It'll come right How back. How sweet. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> so it just, so cool. <laughs> it's very cool. I can't wait to share this with my mom. Uh -huh. Look at butterfly. And then holes, which means I probably got Look at the all baby. the eggs. See the baby? So tiny. And eggs and eggs. And these are little yellow aphids. So they 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 won't hurt anything. I mean, they'll eventually hurt the plant. So what I do is I just go Aphids through and squeeze too. them. I just squeeze them with my fingers so that they keep the plant stays nice and healthy. Because mm -hmm. I try to avoid pesticides. Oh, wow. Okay, I'm going to let you go this time. Bye. <laughs> YouTube people, I hope you learned something today. I did. <laughs> <laughs> oh.